All right, welcome back, you guys. <clears throat> um, so we got a lot of stuff planned for today. Um, at the very minimum, we're gonna do a convergence mod playthrough. I I don't know if we'll finish it, but this is the newest update, and there was there's been several updates since the last time I played it. So it'll be interesting to see what's in here. Um, uh, what else we got? In 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 probably I don't know. In probably not too long, like maybe. An hour or so, we'll do. We got a sponsor today. Uh, exclamation mark Babel, where you get sixty percent off your lifetime subscription if you use that link. So, which is not bad, but yeah, we'll go through that. Um, we're gonna spend an hour doing that, learning some new language that I don't know. Surely that'll go well. Um, and then we might like I I, I would like to open up the Minecraft server as well. Like start whitelisting people for that. Um, I think it's basically set up. I, I'm, there's, there's more things I can do, which I probably will do. I kind of want to make a, a big PVP area for the hardcore server, um, which I can do, I think. I don't know exactly how, but that's the plan, dude. Learn Arabic. I, 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 I would have to look at the list of languages. I, I'm not sure. It's, it's certainly not like every language, but what? Do you guys think we should go, should we go game music here? I'm also, I'm not streaming on YouTube because the sponsor is a Twitch only. So as soon as that's done, then I'll stream on YouTube after that. So, so if anyone's wondering why I'm not also on YouTube, that is why. What do you guys think? Should I, should I go with just normal music or game music? Oh shit, dude. Okay. Let me get. To, do you guys think? Did I get a timer going? I, I. People always like timers, but. <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy. All right. So, how many classes we got now? Retainer, Vanguard, Marksman, Berserker, Dreadnought, Soul Sword, Rogue, Glint Sorcerer, Starcaller. Underworld Mage, Vulcanist, Stormcaller, Nox Oracle, Necromancer, Frost Witch, Aberrant Heretic, Fire Prophet, Fundamentalist, Bestial Devout, Dragon Cultist, Godskin Celebrant, Frenzied Zealot, Zealot, Blood Initiate, Servant of Rot, Mystic, Perfumer, Prisoner, and that's all of them. <laughs> so there's a lot. Um, so what I have done before, I have done, um, let's see here. I've, I messed around with the Necromancer a little bit. I have done Dragon Cultist. I have done, there's one, I think there's one more I thought. Dragon Cultist for sure. What was the other one I did? Necromancer. Oh, Stormcaller, Stormcaller. Or Starcaller. Yeah, okay, so what should we go with, do you guys think? Um, Rot? Everyone's, or a lot of people saying Rot? Servant of Rot? Okay, I don't need much convincing. What is the name? Garf, of course. Feminine. Okay, hey, we got some different starting uh, items as well. I think last time I played, they were... No, I guess they were different, actually. Okay, I have to remember what's good in the mod. So, Enchanted Remnant. Is that... I can't remember what all these do. Because it's been a while since I've played this, but... Like, some of them give you the talismans, right? Is that the enchanted remnant? Or, or heirloom remnant, I guess. Oh, no, they're, they're, these are different. There, there's one... There's one that gives you the FP regen on kill. 
which was really good, but it might be different. So I'll just go with the um, Enchanted Remnant, I guess. Oh, okay. Default, it is. All right, Garf is going in. Yeah, Taker's cameo was the one, I think, yeah. Or, or... Yeah, they made it do... They, they made it do health and... Oh. I'm getting these tutorials, dude. Tutorials... Is this normal rapier speed? Maybe I've been playing too much DS2 or something. Oh yeah, why is there no chat on screen? Well, I guess... I guess there's no chat on screen today. Stream, stream, stream whatever, stream lab. Oh, there is chat on screen. What are you guys talking about? Did I, did I, did it just come on screen or what? How much maybe, are you guys going to be annoyed if I don't switch the, the prompts to a <laughs> controller? Yay, convergence mod. Okay. Maybe this is normal speed. I don't know. It feels kind of, it feels slower than normal somehow. Uh, Bebon, thanks for the 14 month reset, dude. Is the game way too loud for you guys? I, I don't know what I normally have the volume at. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. All right, we have started in the... I, 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 this is actually great because I forgot about a lot of this stuff. Oh, the auto collection. Yeah, I, I forgot about a lot of this stuff, dude, because it's just, it's been so long. Test seal. Okay, so let's um let's check out what is on this list here. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh, oh it's a seal. I, I guess <laughs> I didn't process that. Oh, we got swarm of flies. We've got poison orb. Poison Mist. Um, okay. Those look cool. Yeah, the seal is a seal. Imagine that, dude. Okay, anyways, I was going to check the, the list here. So, I, I, I think I want to go more of like, well, I guess we'll go a hybrid build here because most of the other times I've just gone like, mostly magic, I, I think, but... All right, the Servant of Rot primarily uses Faith and Arcane with physical damage. Following locations have Servant of Rot spell runes. Shimmering Rune of Rot is in Kaled Waypoint Ruins. Glowing Rune of Rot, Seathwater Cave. Um, okay, that's in Gelmir. Shining Rune of Rot in Lake of Rot, Radiant Rune of Rot in Halig Tree Roots. Okay, and then the armor set. But there's like better, there's a better version of the armor set, right? What are spell runes? They, they basically, it's like a package that gives you all your runes. Or all your spells, I mean. Um. Okay, and then Servant of Rot primarily, yeah, sure. The weapon, Scorpion Stinger, Lake of Rot. Rotten Crystal Sword in Elphael. Ansper Rapier, Ainzel River. Blade of Scarlet Bloom, that's new. In the Lake of Rod as well. So obviously we need to go to Lake of Rod. Serpent Bone Blade. Hand of Millennia. I don't have an eyelash in my eye, dude. Rotten Battle Hammer. Rotten Crystal Spear. Rotten Great Axe. This is just a... Uh, just a normal quest, I assume. My flesh it is a curse. Okay, where do we want to head first, man? I don't know. I'm probably not going to collect all these weapons, I don't think, but... 
Yeah, I guess they added uh, a rot to uh, end of millennia, but I guess. Yeah, I guess we go to Kaled Waypoint Ruins. Which is, is it, which one is it? Is it here? Just the Waypoint Ruins? I guess we can try out some of our spells, although. Let's we'll go this way. A uh, Convergence mod, it's just the name of the mod. Is that mod command actually still the right one? Yeah, I'll probably try to go with the hybrid melee and, um... Hybrid melee and spell build. And obviously, we're just trying to deal as much rot as possible. This is new. Nox Oracle. Yeah, for people who don't know, in this mod, every class starts out in their own location. And then the notes that you start out with, it's it's sort of... Um, it, it basically tells you the, the progression of spell and the, the spell path progression. progression. Yeah, it would be cool to use the Hand of Millennia on this, I think. Uh, but... I kind of want to go with the Scarlet or the Blade of Scarlet Bloom, but we have to hit, we have to get to Lake of Rot, so. Odd finish now? I, no, it's, it's still an alpha as, as far as the title says, at least. Let me try out some of my spells. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best I wonder if this Swarm ever. of Flies does Rot instead. I guess it'll be hard to tell on. I don't even know if this guy can be affected by it. Actually, it does some damage too, though. Uh, this is the rot, uh, rot something, rot servant. Um, tired Asian dad, thanks for the uh, fourteen month reset. Uh, the brand new sub, <laughs> Rockman, thanks for the two month prime sub, and Laser Guy, thanks for giving us a sub, dude. I think the Kaled Waypoint Ruins are over here, right? But yeah, I don't think... I, they're probably going to be working on this mod for a long, long time. The DLC is not even out, right? So... I guess let's try your build on this guy. It shouldn't be that tough, and we got Rot, presumably. We already procked him with something. Looks like poison. Oh, yeah, the, the rapier is poison, dude. I guess the rod is going to be later. Maybe this is, is just, like, blood bleed swarm of flies. Ah, oh, so bad on the on this guy. Yeah, okay, just this clean. All right, well, we got a lot of damage over time at this point, which day, is good. Brother. Um, why can't I see? Oh! Uh, colla collaboration! Thanks so much for the- dude, the 6100 bits? E Jesus, dude. Or it's like- oh, it's- Well, that's close enough. Thanks so much, dude. That's insane, man. Okay. Couple- couple thousand runes. Let's get Mothlight. Dude, Mothlight will be good on this build. So, surely I planned that before killing him, right? Surely I knew that. 
But yeah, thanks so much, dude. That's an insane. Maybe, I, I will, maybe. um, once I'll once I actually, like, what I'll do ever. today, I, I do plan on playing some Minecraft today at some point. So, when I open up the server, I'll, I'll add the hardcore redemption. Because anybody who's on the, whoops, anybody who's on the server can play the hardcore just immediately. I just want to see what's here. Um, but once you die, you're dead. And so, what the plan is, is make it so that people just need to redeem a channel point reward. Um... So that they can revive themselves, basically. Maybe 25k is too low. Somebody brought up 25k might be too low for that. So maybe it just is 50k every time. I think that's that's probably fair. Uh, the IP's in the Discord. Or it's just it's ginomachino.mc.gg. Very simple. Yeah, at this point in time, nobody's whitelisted to it yet. Except for obviously myself. Um... But yeah, I'm planning to just open it up today to, or like start whitelisting people today on stream. Well, I saw I saw some stuff about Lake of Rot in this patch, right? Because I remember it last time. It was already much improved over the base game. So apparent is this is the right place, right? Maybe, maybe. I honestly didn't look at the, what it just said. Not ever. Is this the waypoint ruins? I don't know where else it would be. So, surely I won't die. Oh my god! I'm being. I'm a fellow servant of Rod. Why are you doing this to me? Man, dogs are so much friendlier in this game. Oh, and I say that and I'm going to die. Why did I say that? They really are, though. Like, there's... They're like a puppy compared to Dark Souls 3, which we've been playing recently. No... Wait, I, I learned the, their moveset, I thought. I'm dead. There's no way. It's like a big dog? Oh shit, dude. This is this is not a good start. outplayed, obviously. Here we go. Yeah, the extra bleed resist. I forget, I, I, I learned the moveset of these guys, but I kind of don't remember it now. Oh. Maybe I think I'll give you the best nut ever. I don't I don't remember. I Do you guys remember that there was one stream where I was like practicing them? But I I can't remember now. Um anonymous, thanks so much for giving out a sub, dude. Okay. You guys think... You know what? The, 
Okay, first of all, okay, this is the waypoint ruins. I, I think the item is most likely in the underground section, right? Just down there. Like, it, 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 I don't know where else it would be. It does, like, decent damage. Especially because we're kind of in a... Oh, I buffed him. Whoops. Whoops, I probably shouldn't have done that. I didn't I didn't even know these guys could, could get poisoned. Ooh, it's kind of dark down here, man. Are, are these these guys are normally down here, right? I I can't say I've really been down here all too often. Oh my god, the gank! Stop! Oh, that's bullshit, dude. Actually gonna die. Ah, that's horrible. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. After all that. Uh, Benjamin, thanks for the two-month prime sub, dude. Move the cam down? What am I what am I blocking? Like just the weapons and stuff? This is why I this is why I kinda like to use the green screen. Um I could swap to it, I guess. And what a what a beatdown I just took right there in this room. Oh, that's right. That's the strat, I think. You just wait there until either the delayed or you get that one. There you go. I should just gun it for the item. Well, I, I, I don't even know if it's actually down here. It just feels like it would make sense if it was. Yep, there it is. Okay, nice. Just simply... There we go. Much easier when you just run past everything. <laughs> oh. Can you fast travel in combat? Oh, you can... Oh, interesting. Huh. Anyways, let's see what this gives us here. Can we use the rune? Okay, Pest Threads. Uh, Chitinous Shell. Bladed Orb. And Rotten Mist. Okay, so it looks like that's our first rot. Well, I guess we'll go 2-2. Two, two. Let's just try them out. See if they're any different. I can use them all already. So this is Blighted Orb. Oh, that, that kind of looks sick, dude. You got the worms and stuff. And I guess this deals Death Blight. 
I wonder if death have they made death blight any better in the mod? I guess I should read all this stuff, huh? Uh, poison fling. Um. Blood loss. Okay, so Chitna Shell. This is a new one. Defensive enchantment. Uh, invoke asp the, the aspect of insect-like pest. Increasing physical absorption 20%. Non-physical absorption by 10%. Additional stamina recovery. 15 HP per second. Yo, that's really solid. That's good. I like that one. Um, this is looks like the same. Okay, Bladed Orb. Incantation of Worm-Faced Wanderers. Orb of Virulent... Did I say that right? I don't know. Death Blight, fling it at foes, dealing physical damage, causing Death Blight buildup. Um, and then Death Blight Mist. So what is what does Death Blight do then? Does it debuff? Like what what kind of should we go? I mean, let's go. Let's fight this guy. Just see what happens. Clearly not a mistake. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay, well. He's a monster. Is that the sound of the death blight? Or what? Oh, it's the sound of the buff. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't fight him yet. And this is also just, like, not a good weapon to fight him with. And he's so big that I can't reach his head. Perhaps I've made a mistake. I'm gonna die here, probably. <laughs> Okay, huge mistake. He's the rot god. We shouldn't fight him yet. I'm trying to remember the progression of the game, man. I, I what I what I think we should do is probably just get to Lake of Rot as soon as possible, and and to do that, um, I guess we gotta kill Redan, right? Unless it's different in the mod. I guess let's just go explore for a bit. But yeah, I'm not even sure if I would be able to fight him yet. Could I have both these equipped? Double double fisting. Deathlight equals some absorption debuffs and minus 50% status resistance. Okay, that's that's pretty solid actually. Although does it does it proc like instantly or or not? Because if, if it, I mean, I guess it's still not bad. But at a certain point, it might be like, there's no point in trying to use Deathblight because it's better off just proccing the status instead. Like the one that deals the damage instead of trying to... Like, especially for a, a class like this, where I'm going to be dealing Rot and Poison. Like, those are only two stat effects status effects and they last for a long time so I'm probably better off just only doing those instead of the death blight yeah we can go to the we can go to the avatar oh was it I think this was here last time I'm, I'm pretty sure Uh, Benjamin, by the way, I don't know if I said thanks for the uh, two-month prime stuff, dude. Oh, shit. Let's look in the telescope. I haven't used one of these since my first playthrough. I kind of forgot about them. Hmm. 
guess we're gonna run through here. Yeah, we'll go. We we can go kill the avatar, I guess. But we are kind of under leveled right now. I would say. Well, they made this place look a, quite a bit nicer. I don't think I want to stay for long, though. Great smithing stone. So yeah, this is step number one. Shit. Oh my god. Shitting is not step number one. Step number one is... <laughs> get down to Lake of Rot. Somehow. I don't know if I... Can I warp down there? Guess we're gonna find out. I, I should level up and stuff though, I think. Oh yeah, and let's also use this. Um, Higger's cameo is insanely good. Let's just look at these other ones, see if there's anything really different. So, stamina speed, cover HP. One FP per second. It's not terrible. But you already have, well, you already have regen, but... There's a pretty significant, uh, in the base game, there's no way they're this high, are they? Dude, you know what? I, I can't remember where to find the enchanted remnants. I, I, I remember knowing before, but this could be huge to pick up. Because it, it makes you totally immune, right? If we're going to Lake of Rot, like that's pretty good, man. Unless I can get it somewhere else, but I don't think so. I think I should go with it. Let's go Navy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I just, I wish I remembered, because at some point somebody was telling me it, and I, I'd done a few runs of convergence, and I remembered where all those remnants were but now I don't but it'd be really nice to like this one will be huge and then also getting the taker's cameo and then maybe the wait golden scarab are you is that real or not I also realized I didn't even level up what is the I didn't actually even look at what the gold scarab did Well, yeah, those those were talismans in the base game, but they they, they didn't they don't normally give you Im immunity. We have moth light. Do you guys think? Oh, interesting. Okay, wait. What is all this stuff? Standard heavy keen quality glint. Dragonkin. Gravity, flame. Golden, Draconic. Okay, wait, so Faith... Is this one... Oh, Int. That's weird. Okay. Bestial. Night. Lava, Frenzy. Death. Is Madness different? Uh, Babel is a, a language site. Like a language learning app. Frost. Aberrant. Blood flame. Rotten. I guess it's already rotten. Inflict soul burn. I guess there's not like an actual rot one though. I just missed it. All right, which one should I go with then, man? I guess probably keep it rotten. Okay, okay, and also level up. 
I'm just going to get a bunch of health for now. Yeah, we could go kill Grail, actually. You know what? That's not a, a bad idea at all. Probably wouldn't take that long. You know what? Maybe I also should have gone with some different spells, but... Should have casted another one. That's certainly quite a noise <laughs> that it makes. Is this guy immune to poison? Done somewhere. Unfortunate. The big tree's immune to poison. Oh. Okay, we we definitely proc him this time. that HP regen. Simple. Oh, right, the Physic Remnant. I Okay, I forgot about that as well. Okay, so that's nice. Get some Physic stuff. Okay, so we are Faith and Arcane, right? Is that is that correct? Faith and Arcane, I think. Or oh, wait, let me check the seal, actually. You're immune to rot. Does the rot splash still? Yeah, it still was doing dealing damage there, but I just I wasn't getting any rot build up. We're we're dealing physical damage, right? So we probably want to go with this one, unless I want to go with a more defensive one. But um, in this one, there's some cool ones in here, dude. Critical attacks, ranged attacks, jump attacks. Surely a lot of these will be added in the DLC, right? Uh, what else we got? I think Thorny makes the most sense for our build. And this one... We'll go with the... Faith Arcane one, I guess. Yeah, surely DLC is not real. I, for some reason, I thought that Sony state of play thing, I thought that was yesterday, but it's actually today. Like, has it started yet? Uh, but not too. How's it going, dude? Um, okay. So I guess we'll, we'll go like this. Unless I want to go with the cultist, but this is probably the best so far. Um, 
I feel like bleed is probably better. So we can go with these three for now. Did I go try to kill Grail? Just uh, getting a lot of HP might be nice. How do I script at certain fights when planning runs? Yeah, use yeah use like ER tool and, and save file organizers and stuff to just test it. Like that's basically it. it's just a bunch of trial and error mostly. Gonna do a watch stream? No, I don't. I don't. I I honestly I, I I'm not really somebody who ever really cares about that stuff. Oops. What was I saying? I was going to say something, but I forget now. Clearly wasn't that important. So, so can I put, like, the God Slayer effect on this? Rapier somehow? Which one was it? Immolation, that's kind of cool. So you just light somebody on fire. Soul burn. I wish I remembered what I was going to say. Because <laughs> I, I don't know what it was. Let's see, is this, this going to work? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that link might be to the old site that doesn't work anymore. Maybe. I don't know. Man, did they give Grail more health on this or what? It's a lot of HP here. Maybe not. We are going to do some Babel, a Babel lesson pretty soon, you guys. The sponsored uh, segment. Is there a certain way to lock certain abilities for bosses? You can, yeah. Uh, ER tool even allows you to do that. Just repeat action. Please do Dutch. Okay, we can decide once once we get to it, just to see. I, I picked I picked Spanish, like Spain, Spanish, Spanish. Just I don't know, but we we can just change it to what people want me to try to do. I <laughs> do Japanese. I'm already good at that. Flies work? Oh, let's try it. It should work. I just don't think it'd be as fast. Oh, I mean, that was pretty good. we go so can you guys direct me to where i can find more enchanted remnants we all those souls because i would like to get a couple more of those mexican spanish better yeah there is an option for like uh, Latin America, Spanish as well. I, I, I don't know. Like, I just picked. Really want to try my Rotten Mist and stuff. Someone said check. Bebo said check medallion piece, so I'm gonna go check that.
Oh, they're just where talismans are base game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, we'll go check. Uh, well, I, maybe there's there could be one, I guess, down here. Well, maybe not, but let's just go see what this is. And it's it very nice, like, in fast travel out of combat. Obviously, that's very overpowered, but... It's convenient not having to wait an hour for some little zombie 10 kilometers away to, <laughs> to de-aggro before you can fast travel. Like, it certainly makes more sense to do it this way. Oh! An Odachi, or however you say that. Dang. A curved greatsword. Dude, that looks fucking sick as hell. Dang. God, that's that's sick, dude. I should have gone with a fucking samurai. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I could go with that, but <laughs> it's not really meant for this build. That's sick. Okay, let's let me swap back the enchantment, and then uh, so we wanted to go with rotten. I also have a bunch of levels, and also let's get the remnant. So I'll probably go with the Higgers cameo for now. Are are the are the spell slots still in the same locations? Like maybe I should have gone to Lens Rise there. Just go do it. Yeah, that's a cool that's a cool weapon, man. That uh, that's pretty sick. I do like that. Yeah, make sure you guys are, if, if you want to play on the Minecraft server, though, make sure you're requesting those, the channel point reward, and then by the time, I, I would like to finish this playthrough today, probably. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend, a, like, a crazy amount of time on this, so keep it below, like, 10 hours or so. Um, but then probably after we're done, then I would like to do that, so... And as soon as the as soon as the sponsor segment's done, then I'll, I'll start streaming on YouTube as well. If people want to watch there instead. Maybe I should get the grace first. Well, maybe it won't be 10 hours. I don't know. We'll see. It's already been 46 minutes, though. This is the uh, Convergence mod for Elden Ring. I'm not sure if the memory stones are still the same. That's where we're going to go check. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's that's probably good. Like, we could cheese the Knight's Cavalry and stuff, but we already cheesed Grail. Let's go back here. Equip another spell. This armor... I, I do like this armor set. I, I, I honestly don't know if it's in the base game or not, though. Uh, maybe we go Poison Orb, just so I have a ranged option. Or I could go Death Blight Orb, if I want. Because right now, we got Bleed, we got Defense, we have Rot. Oops. And I have Poison on my Rapier, so we don't... Like, we can go with the Quadruple Status build. Okay, let's also level up a bit. So, we will go with... We'll say 25 Vigor for now. And then we want faith in arcane, but I don't know how important that is at this point. So maybe maybe we just go more, more vigor, because we we are a status build, right? So, a status build should be able to go a long way without needing just high physical damage. 
Live in sunshine, swim the sea, drink the wild air. Uh, Elfman, thanks for the 1,000 bits again, dude. Thanks so much. How's it going, uh, Anucris? Is it bad you haven't legitimately fought Grail? I mean, not really. If you killed the dragons in the game, then you've basically killed Grail, so... Alright. Is Lake of Rot a warp option here? Deep Root Depths. Ainsel River. But where in the Ainsel River would this be? Because there's two parts of it, right? Yeah, 30 Vigor does look like... <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. It looks like 15 in DS3. Uh, Nokron. I guess Nokron is where we want to go. Or, I guess we just check all of them. Or... Check new areas that made 1.4. Yeah, we can go to Morin for sure. I'm just gonna simply avoid this guy. Yeah, we went with the Rot class. Maybe this this probably wasn't the best place to come from. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and I wanna see if there's a Cause, Cause, here I'd have to like take on the mimic boss and all that stuff. We can, we can do it for sure. But I just want to see the other ones as well. So, so that was Nokron. Let's check Ainsel. Cause if it puts us to the upper part of Ainsel, then we can go from here. And there's no boss fights. Yep, it does. I think. Hey, wait, I'm all disoriented here. I think this is right. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh! I kind of am a... Look at that HP regen. That's pretty solid, man. I have a feeling these guys are going to be way too tanky for me to deal with here. Okay, I mean, we're doing something. I swarm of flies on him. Yeah, I might I, I might just go with a pure kind of defense build on this one. Just because we if we're gonna go almost pure status, then we don't really need We don't really need more stats on damage. So, surely I haven't died on this run yet. We just simply forget about that other death. Hey, you get flasks. I, I just have them on the on the bar, or whatever. Ouch. <laughs> oh, really, Hachi? That's funny. That's hilarious, actually. So yeah, right now, Lake of Rot seems to be. Like, I guess we're kind of skipping an area, though, a little bit for the spell, but I, I'm really coming down here for, like, Scorpion Stingers down here, Blade of Scarlet Bloom, which is the real reason why I'm coming down here. I don't know, do you, do you guys think I should go to Seathwater Cave first? Maybe, I guess that's probably maybe. more intended. I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Banana Man, thanks for the six-month Prime sub, dude. I guess one thing too, I, I don't really know where to get the upgrades. I don't know where all the upgrade materials are. I've, 
I've picked up a few, but not anything significant. Maybe I should be checking the vanilla base game upgrades locations. Oh. I didn't know there's a path back here. Surely new in the mod. You can get all summer bell bearing without fighting main bosses. Okay. Well, that's nice. I just don't know where any of them are, though. Oh, well, are they in the same spots? Uh, okay, Edge. How's it going, dude? Wait. Why did I get a random refill there? Or I got something. I get proc by that. Maybe they're immune to rot. The noise is definitely the the blight on them. Like that's what that that like weird lingering noises that sounds like bugs or something would have thought a group of three basilisk would be a gigantic battle like that okay a couple stones I definitely think I'm coming into a area where, where which is coming into an area which is higher level than I am but I'm curious what's different about it because they changed a lot last time I came through here Oh yeah, maybe it is next patch. I just I I remember seeing a tweet about it. So yeah, maybe maybe that is for next patch. Um Savvy, thanks for the bits, dude. Okay, so we want to get the Shining Rune of Rot. And we want to get Blade of Scarlet Bloom. We're gonna have to find those somehow. Oh, there's a a gate here. I'm actually kind of surprised this class doesn't start down here. Okay, I gotta see where this portal goes. Oh, okay. Dang, we need a telescope up here, dude. Um... I think this is... About the same. A lot of the stuff actually isn't even loaded in. 
looks pretty nice from up here, though. All right, where will that stuff be? I forgot about that, and holy shit, that was a lot of damage. That's 30, 30 maybe, vigor, by the way. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, we gotta hope that Moth Flight carries here. These people are immune to poison, <laughs> probably. Fuck. I guess that makes sense. Just unfortunate. Yeah, I guess that's the thing, right? With a lot of this stuff... Oh. Um... You know, the, the required items for your class are in a location where it makes sense to be. Right? Like all the rot, rot stuff being in the rot area, but then at the same time, you fight against bosses that are immune to what you're trying to do, because like it, it makes sense for the rot boss to drop a rot item, right? And then the enemies, like it's... What is this? Oh my... Maybe, uh, I maybe guess I <laughs> didn't need to quit out. But. Not ever. Oh my god, that damage, man. Uh, Kazi, thanks for the seven-month resub, dude. Also, uh, Savi, I didn't realize that the six-month in advance sub. Thanks so much, dude. Oh, I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna I'm gonna reallocate my flask a bit better here. Do I have Arch Dragon Peak with Hidden Body in the VOD from yesterday? I do, yeah. I'm going to go 3-1, because we get the, the regen, so. That archer does a lot of damage. Oh, he's, he's kind of hard to see. Oh, you're super resistant to bleed as well. <laughs> the cum buff. <laughs> yeah, true, dude. got hacked and got rid of points well i mean people you can just refund channel points very easily so i wouldn't worry too much about that all right these guys are weak to the charge r2s so that's what we're gonna go with maybe i should have even gone with that um that physic tier that boost crit damage like a rapier is a good crit weapon 150 critical <laughs> Look at that HP. Fucking weirdo. Yeah, get poison. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Look at this tank. Ever. A lot of, lot of souls for that though. Okay, I do know there's a lower level as well. So. I don't know, we're gonna have to explore a bit. I, I, don't tell me where this is, because I kind of want to find it. Uh, gone free. Thanks for the brand new prime stuff, dude. Okay, 
this is not a good situation. Oh. Somehow that worked. And they both did they both die? All right, so far so good. But yeah, the way I see it, I guess down is kind of like the easy way, right? And then up is the Chad way, but I really, it would have been cool if they made Lake of Rot better in the base game. It, it is unfortunate because it's a very nice looking area, I would say. Especially when you go up there. Like, I remember my first playthrough. I saw Lake of Rot from up there before I ever came down. And, uh... I was like, holy shit, that looks really sick, dude. And actually, what ended up happening was I, I didn't even find a Lake of Rot in my first playthrough. I ended up seeing it, but then not going down until, like, quite a bit later. And people told me about it. I would assume it's in the big round, like, Colosseum thing. But it might be one of these items. I'm going for the weapon. I'm also going for the, the rune. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I, I, I see this is this is how they design it. It's, it's actually pretty it's a pretty good idea. Making it hard and then very easy to fall off, and if you fall off, you gotta go all the way back around. I guess you don't really get much from going the, going the upper way, though. Unless I, maybe I missed something. Or maybe this, this item you can't reach without going the upper way. It looks like... I don't know. Alright, let's go pick up the few items that were down here. This is a solid way to deal with these guys. No, the no rod is because I, I picked up the, or I, I grabbed the immunizing horn charm. I don't know if I've ever killed one of these before, actually, dude. Usually I just let these girls live. Oh my. Oh my god. Let the, let the moose mom live. They did a nice job on the like skin of these guys. I assume that's fully custom. Unless I, I can't think of any enemy in the game that looks like that. Oh, 
Oh, is it? Oh, it's a cut enemy. Okay. That makes sense. I'm not scared of you, flower. Surely this is my sword. I think I'm going the wrong way. I have to imagine it's the other direction, but... What is that attack? Oh my god, what is it, this guy on, dude? Dude, how did that miss? Actual harder than the bosses. Okay, I don't think I'm seeing anything down here, so... I definitely... I... 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 I might no hit this mod eventually. We'll have to see, but I do some no hit runs on it. Rot grease. Like there's the whole fortress thing over here. Which has got to be something. And I guess we'll go into the tree. I, I don't remember how much I explored this last time, but I don't I don't remember going into that middle area. But I know I came down here to kill Estelle. There's that whole upper part there, too. I guess you're supposed to go get there from the tree. Oh my god. Tankiest dog. Well, it's not looking so good. Got procced with poison and rot, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm immune to rot, again, because I have the horn charm. Makes you totally immune. Which I figured would be useful, which is why I went with it. I knew we were going to be coming down to Lake of Rot very early. Yeah, look at that idiot dog, dude. Look at how dumb he is. Come on, give me give me that rune. Spear of tranquility. That is not what we're looking for. Oh wait. It's a oh, interesting. It it actually does go well with our build. 
Faith and Arcane Scaling. Okay, well, I, I maybe I'll use that at some point. Or Godskin Duo or something, I don't know. I, I don't I don't even remember what they did with Oh oh yeah, they made the dog or the <laughs> the lion boss. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting bullied. Oh. Dude. Surely that's a skill issue right there. Yeah, that's why it's in alpha. <laughs> it's actually really annoying. Can't you jump on top of this, or...? Uh, I haven't... I don't... I haven't gotten the rune. Well, th this is the... The beginning one. I wonder where this, if they made this tree here, because, or is that, like, is that somewhere in the game? I don't think so. Looks very nice. Oh, and then, okay, wait a second. Yeah, I, I don't think I explored this area that much last time I came through here. And I, It looks like I have to go to that tree branch, but... Oh yeah, the Godskin Matriarch, dude. I, I haven't fought that en enemy yet. Is that... Is the Matriarch at... Where is that boss fight? I Actually, don't even tell me. Oh. Wait. Hey, this... Oh, maybe... Uh, this doesn't really look like it, it either. No, I can't horse here. Gotta figure out how to get up there. This is definitely one of the most brutal areas, though. At least that I can remember from the mod. The All this... All the fucking... Uh, pests and stuff. That's not good. At least I got my heals back. Clearly this wall will uh, work. I, I have collected quite a few somber stones to this point. Oh, 
Okay, nice, dude. Yeah, I definitely didn't come up here last time, I don't think, but... Is this the only way to the boss? Okay, we've made it up. There's a rotten do list here. Surely I can poison him. Holy, he's got some HP. Yeah, I guess I can make him. Oh, he can be poisoned. There we go. Hell yeah. You buff, I buff. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus, dude. Am I dealing like... Is he healing? <laughs> or... Ouch. Oh no. I'm, I'm dealing so little damage, it looks like he's healing. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Should I use Moth Flight on him? Probably now. That was a good hit. Why did I roll twice? Simple. I should have rotted him, but I, I actually, he probably can't be rotted. Were there more platforms I was supposed to raise, or did I mess? Like, I must have messed up or something. I don't know if I've noticed any more, though, so. Maybe it, like, loops around. Yeah, DLC is out, and I'm playing it at the moment. This is the DLC. I got early access to it. Please fall. Somebody died somehow. Oh, shit, is that a platform right there? Oh, I, I, dude, I didn't even think about it. God damn it, man. Could probably go down there.
That, that, that is probably going to be one of the items we need. If I were to just guess. I guess I'll go check it out first. Oh, maybe... No, this is, this is fine. I just got a lot of runes from killing stuff. I believe. Actually, is that one of the armor sets, though? Oh, maybe not. Dreamer set. Increases faith in Arcane by one. Like, it definitely is good for us. But it's mystic incantations, though. Is it better than what I have on right now? Uh, yeah, Convergence is, is updated numerous times since I last played it. Is this normally here? Probably. Actually, there's no what there's no way this is normally here, and I just have never noticed it. Apparently, this actually was a platform thing. Oh, it's just the lower one. Were there any more that I missed? There's clearly something that I've missed here. <laughs> like, oh, I guess I, I never went to that other side. Oh, this is the one we came up. <laughs> yeah, I'm clearly missing something that like bridges that gap there. I I, I think. But I, I don't remember how I got to Estelle the other time though. That's really weird. So let's go in here. We should probably... I was going to do Babel like 30 minutes ago, you guys. We should probably do it pretty soon. Take a quick break, and then I can continue streaming on YouTube as well. Okay, clearly the rune is here. Like, it must be. Alright, we'll kill this boss. And then we will do some babble, and you guys can make fun of me trying to learn how to speak Spanish, I guess, or whatever language we choose. Okay, and, th and the last one is here. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I get it now. Do German? I, I don't remember if, I, if German was on there. I, I'd have to look again. Does this have any... Should I... Should we go... Hey, wait, one second. Let's go with some boss music. I don't know. I, I will see if there's anything here. Who is singing, though? That's concerning me. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if this is from somewhere else.
We already got him poisoned. I mean, I assume we can't rot him, but... We can death blade him, I'm sure. Already got him, I think. Dude, just repost them, man. Still hear that girl singing. Done, maybe? Oh my god. I can't I can't buy repost, dude. Why is it so hard to repost these guys? Oh, he's just doing his, okay. I thought he was just, like doing a phase two or something. What is this? Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Delayed in ring. Dude, I just want to proc you again so I can finish finish the fight with the moth flight. Fifty eight K. Oh, and this isn't even it, dude. <laughs> I don't think. Master level Dragonkin. So this is like a later game boss here. It'd be kind of cool if you could get a, a nice view of the thing coming up. Yeah, honestly, the duelist fight was longer. Uh, it's, I think the same amount as base game, uh, Hector. But it's it's not as necessary because you get a FP regeneration in the mod. Okay, you, tell me this: Have I missed one of the two items I'm looking for so far? Have I missed them, or are they just further ahead? Because what I'm looking for are I'm looking for the blade of scarlet bloom, and I'm looking for the shining rune of rot. So have I actually gone past one of them? Oh, I really did miss one? Okay, where is it then? Just tell me. Oh, okay. Well, unless it's over there. Oh, wait. Kind of did go over there, though. Okay, where's the blade? How did I miss that? Wait, there's an item over there. Buy mushroom crown? D down in the tree? Like around it or actually in it? Oh, it actually is over there. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a door on the tree? Seriously? Okay. 
a few things I gotta do, I guess. Yeah, but <laughs> Blaze is in 10 different spots. I, okay, I said I would kill the boss and then we would do the Babel, so. Um, let's do some Babel, you guys. Let me keep this music going, I guess. Oh yeah, I was gonna watch what Hunter said. The watch. Oh wait, what is this? Welcome to How to Pronounce. In today's video, look, so without further ado, which means two-handed zwei Hände. Dude, that's what I said earlier. I said that, I, I think I said that almost perfectly earlier. Zwei, zwei Hände. Simple. Oh, oops. So what is this? This is what this is what Hunter gave me as my um Dude, is this going to get like copyrighted? This is totally going to get copyrighted, dude. I I can't play this on stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Okay, uh one second you guys. I'm just going to quickly set up the stream on YouTube. Well, unless, uh, like, I don't know, is there, did I sh bother streaming on YouTube today? We are going to do some Minecraft at some point. I don't know, maybe I just won't. Rip. But yeah, because I, 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 I kind of, the YouTube viewers won't have access to the Minecraft server, so <laughs> that's why I'm, that's why I'm not going to, I guess. Well, th well, they will. They will, but it just... None of them are going to have access yet because the channel points have just started building up. Um, Zvi, Hender. Right? Zvi. I think you guys... It, it might not come perfectly clear through the mic, but... Maybe I'm saying it wrong also. It's possible. But I think I'm saying it very close to at least what the video said. Oh, the game is insanely loud because I turned up my volume. Here we go. Um... I don't know what that did. Wait, is is what idea canceled? Got the golden eyes. Oh no, Minecraft. No, no, no. We're, we're just going to do it a bit later, I think. Or Yeah, I, I still want to open it on on stream today. I what I was searching up earlier like what the tab was that people were wondering what the hell it was. It was um I got I I can't remember if you can whitelist numerous people at a time. I'm pretty sure you can. Like with a command, I mean. But it would be nice if I can just whitelist everybody at once. I'm not, I'm, I don't know if I actually can or not, though. That'll make it take a little bit less time. I, I would like to finish this run today, but... Maybe we'll have to finish it tomorrow. Oh my god, bro. Just, you get hit by one, and you're just toast. You got stunned and all the rest. Yeah, there's a whitelist file. Yeah, that is true. But I'm pretty sure it's just faster to use commands to do it instead of manually entering it in. How's it going, WD? Yeah, I think I, I'm not really meant to be in this area yet. But I do have 30 vigor, though, so... Like, 30 Vigor is not a small amount. 
It just in Elden Ring. In Elden Ring, 30 vigor is nothing. Whereas in Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 and stuff, having 30 vigor is like you're invincible. Oh my god. Surely that was the sword I'm looking for. Now, I guess not no YouTube stream today. I, I was going to, but then... Blade of Scarlet Bloom. Curve sword. We need 14 dexterity, which I should easily be able to get. Okay, we found one of the items we need, though. Alright, so it's curve sword. And it's got Aeonian Rush on it. Ooh. Dang, man. That's kind of... Guten Tag. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of that I'll actually remember. Definitely the, the dank part, I will. Danka. The rest of it... Oh, like, I'll, I'll maybe remember some of it. Maybe we should go to round table at some point. Colossal Somberstone. Oh, yeah, get good as well. Yeah, yeah, true. All up our two. Wait, is that what? That's it. I don't think so. Like it doesn't say that it costs any FP on a follow up. How many requests do we have for the... Here, let me check, actually. I need to add, add Matt as a mod so that he can start adding people. Or, or just any... I guess it doesn't even... I, think I can make other people mods, too. Um, Request queue. How many do we got so far? Wait, access denied? What the hell? My own damn channel, dude. I think Twitch must have logged me out or something. Oh, yeah. That's a classic. Enter my gigantic password. <sighs> That's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, access denied, dude. All right, how many people we got? There's 18 so far. And then I'll have the hardcore request as well. Um, once people start dying on that. I'm actually surprised how many people reacted in the Discord to that message and saying that, that they would play on it. How did I get through the Lake of Rot last time? Because I, I, I thought I came down here, but maybe, maybe what I did was just come to check it out and I didn't actually... Make it to Estelle or something? It's too bad there's no... There's no Dark Souls 2 power stancing. Because imagine how sick it would be to power stance these two weapons together. But yeah, when, when should we... Maybe in like... Maybe in like two hours or something, we'll switch over to Minecraft for a little bit. Not all of them would be active, uh, like you're saying the players. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, and and also at first, more people are gonna play on it than in like two weeks from now. So, go to round table. 
See if I can upgrade at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm probably going to play on it. Although I, you know, yeah, I'll play on it for sure. Like, I'll probably play on the hardcore one. Mostly. Maybe, maybe... I can I'll sell items here. It's a miracle. Or maybe I'll play on both, but I, I find it hard to, like, play on two survival worlds at the same time. Uh, sure, Reflections, dude, yeah. I'd say that's fair. Yeah, you can just redeem and put some other username in there, and then that's fair. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut um, ever. Ian, thanks for the 10-month resub, dude. Also, did I just say thanks, Shiro, for the 10-month resub? If I didn't, like thanks, dude. Ender Dragon early and stuff like that. Any rules posted in Discord about Minecraft server, like, killing uh, Ender Dragon early? Um... Maybe, maybe... I mean... I'll give you the best nut ever. I think it'd be more fun... But no, probably not. But it would probably probably be more fun if, like... That was an event. So, yeah, maybe maybe I should. Should have something like that. I, I don't know if people will listen, though, I guess, right? But I, I'll have, like, backups of the world and stuff, so... Gonna play other convergence classes too? I I might, yeah. I I think that'd be fun. We have we have one somber stone. I think at this point it would be worth going to look for the other somber bell bearings. Do you so where are they? Where are the other somber bell bearings? Yeah, it's vanilla Minecraft, and apparently the server also supports bedrock. So I'd be interested to see if somebody. Like, can actually play on that version. I haven't tested it. I honestly, I don't even know if the spawn in the server is at the right spot, so. Same spot. But. Altus would be the second one, wouldn't it? I guess we can go kill the, the enemy here. No, I, I haven't played Rock Class. I've, I've played the Starcaller or whatever, and I've played the Dragonkin guy. And so, yeah, again, for people who aren't aware, um, doing that channel point, channel point request or whatever, the uh, channel point redeem, it'll give you access to the server, like, permanently, unless, obviously, you get banned somehow I, uh, or whatever, but it'll give you access to both worlds, one hardcore attempt, and then just access to the other, like, normal survival. I, I put the difficulty normal because I think people who want to play on that one will just want to just chill out and stuff. So they don't, like, hard changes some things. Holy, what an entrance <laughs> that guy's doing. What? It's not good. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's good. You like millennia. Oh. The fight with Millennia is going to be pretty epic, I think. And it does good poise damage, too. Like, decent. Why on earth is my game lagging so badly, dude? Oh, the dragon... You mean, like, the lag? Cause I yeah I re I remember that, just my my frame rate just totally died when well it does it does that on the 
base version of the game too, sorta. You know what would be really cool, I think, is if... I don't know how this would... I don't know if it'd actually be that good, but... Imagine if we picked a class like this, and we are like a Millennia Servant class or something. But we actually were on her side. You know? And so, she was maybe like a, a Covenant leader or something, and then she was a teacher of some of the spells. And then each class could have their own, like, teacher or whatever. It'd be interesting. The, the rod went down to the bottom there. Uh, Goblin. How's it going, dude? Goblin D's nuts. <laughs> can you date her? I surely you can. Oh my god, you see that tracking? Holy, that's some tracking right there. Also, doesn't take a lot of FP at all. <laughs> this is sick. Oh, this is awesome. I wonder if I can like cross gaps with this. Guess not. It does definitely do raw build up, yeah. A large somber. Surely the the stone's still actually in here. Armor set. Uh, there's content relating to friendly millennia or something like that. Yeah, I, I just think I think for this mod, where you can start out of as a bunch of different classes and stuff, it, it would just be cool if, like, so imagine this: if I if I went star caller. Imagine if Redan was like my my master or whatever, right? And so he would be the one who teaches you the the spells once you bring him like a certain or once you bring him the rune. Like if, if you could change the game progression around like that, I, I think that'd just be that'd be kind of cool. And then you could still fight them maybe if you just attack them or whatever. Oh, look at that range. Oh! Got some hyper armor on it, too. Overthrow your master? Well, it, it would just... 
I think th this is just an idea I, I ju just thought of like two minutes ago, but yeah, I just, I, I think it would be, it wouldn't be great to take away the option of fighting a certain boss just because they're like the teacher or whatever. So you'd have to, you would probably want to do it where if you kill the, your teacher. So yeah, let's say I'm, let's say I'm this class and Millennia is my, my master, whatever. Right. And so she's, she's passive to me and then she'll like, I can, I don't know, learn, I can bring her the, the runes and she'll teach me the spells from it. I, I don't know exactly how it would work with actually getting there and stuff, but... Dude, I should have casted the spell first. Um, but yeah, so so all that, but then if I still wanted to fight the boss with my build, then I could, you know, fight her, and then... get some other way to learn my spells. Oh, there's a warp in here. I should not have done this. How have we not gotten rot yet? We got the double status going. Oh, how the f did I dodge that? Oh! Oh! Oh, baby. What a kill that was. How stylish was that right there? Where does this portal go to? Oh, <laughs> look at that. We're here. Is there grace? Hell yeah. Okay, so I was going to come here anyways, but I guess this is like an alternative way to get down here. Interesting. The real reason I went there was to get some upgrades. You already have a lot of the great and large. I, I, I don't know how many you need, though. So... What is the? I don't know what the upgrade path is. What's up, Kaza? It, it was it was decent. It was pretty fun. I've played Ascended Mod a tiny bit, but I haven't actually finished it. I could go back to finish it at well, some point, maybe. Oh yeah, it's just three. Okay, so we we need colossal sombers, but we're already we're plus eight, so that's pretty solid. As for the rapier, um, is the is the other smithing stones are are they in the same locations? Because I I would like to go poison plus rot here. And right now the rapier is the way to go with poison. <laughs> Stinky build. Uh, yeah, the bell, the bell bearing. Like, is the smithing stone bell bearing one still in in this tunnel?
Oh man, it's it's too bad I can't get like maybe I should get another curved sword. Cause I would love to do a jump attack build. Okay, what are any of these curved swords here? I don't think so. <laughs> build tin playthrough. Wait, you can dupe weapons? Really? How do you do that? Wait, I can actually dupe it? Okay, well, I, I, I don't know if I want to, though. Because I'd rather go poison on my other weapon. Um, okay, let me go back to round table. Is there any somber stone poisoned curve sword in the mod? Does anybody know that? How's it going, Couch? Scavenger? Is it is it still in the same place? I am liking what we're cooking right here, dude. A lot harder than normal? Uh, not really. It's probably easier. Yeah, we can go to Gelmir and check. Go here. Uh, Titan Forge, by the way. I don't know if I said thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. We, we also wanted to go to Gelmir anyway, so... Um... Was the blade for Tannis quest? Uh, that's Serpent Bone Blade. I, I'm not sure if it's any different in the mod, but it's a katana, I, I assume, if it's still the same. Oh, Serpent God's Curve Sword. Yeah, that that could be good for the regen. Wait. Oh, I thought I thought that uh, <laughs> I thought that Rune Bear was a boss for a second. East Gelmir. Well, this is close enough. Gotta run a little bit. Wait, is... Serpent Gods isn't poison normally, right? Is it? No, it's... Surely it's not. What's up, Tiger? And, uh, Fox, welcome back. Really? Okay, so then maybe I should go with that, then. Oh, you can infuse. Oh. Oh, okay, so... I, I don't know. I guess that makes sense, then. Either way, we're already here. Scavenger's got bleed presumably on it still, so. We are going with the, how many statuses are we rocking here? Bleed, one, two, three, four with poison. The quadruple status. Gonna watch the state of play? Probably not. I, I, I honestly thought it was yesterday. But I guess it wasn't. The only way I would turn it on is if Somebody mentioned something about, like, Elden Ring or whatever. This class was definitely a good pick so far, I would say. Look at that hyper armor I got. Oh, just sit down, dude.
Scavenger's Curve Sword. This might be a pretty gnarly build, you guys. <laughs> like, multi attack. I, I said I wasn't gonna go for high like physical damage on this, but I might I might have to now. Maybe. We get the We've already got the thorny crack tier in, stone shrouding tier. Um, presumably we can get like the rot plus bleed procking talismans and stuff. Is that the one like I I remember seeing a tweet at some point from the Convergence Twitter. Is that the Lake of Rot one? Like, I think people were talking about that. Like, more changes coming to it or something? No, I think, I, I think I'm going to go poison on it just to keep the theme of a bunch of statuses. Sounds like a good idea. I guess I didn't really have to run up here, but I was just going to go, like, grab a grace or something. Oh, new Volcano Manor. Is it the same in, in this version right now? Or, like, mostly the same? I think I did go through it on one of my playthroughs a while ago, but I can't remember. Uh, how's it going, Dizzle Dog? Yeah, that's pretty cool, because I guess there is the big empty lava area, right? And, I don't know. Like, Volcano Manor is a decent area as it is, but... I can imagine quite a few improvements, I would... I think. Ghost of Tsushima is also coming. What does that mean? Like a second one or something? Yeah, true. Serpent Bone Blade does cause deadly poison. Not sure if it's still the same in the mod, but... I want, I want to go with another uh, Curve Sword, so... Oh, PC version. Ah, okay. Well, I have a PS5, so <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. So, Scavenger Curve Sword, Smithing Stone Weapon. Is the, the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing still in the cave, I would assume, right? Yeah, somebody told me to go look at Castle Morn, which I'll be doing. Um... I guess probably north. Gotta be closer. Yeah, Castle Morn is one of the most disappointing areas in... I might, I might just kill this boss here. One of the most disappointing areas in the base game. Definitely deserves a revamp. I'm so... I'm just going to take it. I knew we were getting that stun. <laughs> oh, see you later. This build is actually very, very good so far. I should go get another talisman, though. Oh, whoa, so... What talisman? Talisman would be nice here. I don't know if I can get, like, Millicent's prosthesis. Why did I get this? I I literally got the worst one. Unless maybe the other ones weren't there. I got the worst of the three <laughs> that, that were uh, that are in the game. Yeah, people were saying that tiger. I I was gonna do it with the with the blade of scarlet or whatever, but 
Oh, that's the only one. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, I feel like I would have noticed that. Yeah, I want to go. I want to go with the quad status. So I'm gonna go with poison on the scavenger. I think. What if I can make the jump down to the spirit spring from here? It's not even loaded in. I guess it's way further than I thought. Isn't there? I thought there were some coffins to go down. They didn't make this super straightforward, I guess. Yeah, I mean, is there another status I can fit in? So we, okay, we've got bleed. So one, two, three, and poison. Like a frost? How, how could I fit frost in here? Uh, this is the newest version, uh, Chicken Talon. It's one... 1.4.2, maybe, or something like that. Oh, I guess I could have just done that. Yeah, true. I, I do have this this sleep spear, which actually makes a lot of sense for this build. So, I uh, I wouldn't mind upgrading that at some point. Oh, what am I, what am I doing, dude? Oops. I'm gonna turn my brightness down. One second. Just for now. Uh, Death Blight, it... So, I think it makes enemies take... What what people said is that it makes status statuses proc more quickly. And... Um... Does it make them take, like, more damage, maybe? I, I don't know. There's a couple things, I think. Let me just infuse it with poison now. Nice, and we get Moth Blade on it. Here we go. And we got Moth Blade. Like, Moth Blade isn't that good. But it's nice to have when, like, in the situation on a normal playthrough, in the situation where a boss is about to die, then there's like that's when it's probably the best obviously in the master run it's it's kind of a unique case for it where you actually just want to use it to get damage off because the damage is so low there's some smithing stones in here as well i guess we're going like mostly melee on this but We'll see. I, I've basically only done magic so far in the mod, so. I just realized I, I the reason they're all mad at me is because I, I I'm walking past their their stone, which I automatically pick up. I'm not on YouTube today because I, I did a sponsor earlier, which is Twitch only, and um, we're also going to be opening up the Minecraft server as well, which no, like YouTube 
Like the main reason is sponsor, but right now I there's no I don't really have like the channel points properly in place for people to actually be able to join it, so I guess I could pick this up here. No, I guess if I really didn't actually have to come and hit the bell bearing. Oh, it's in a chest here? I'm just a pin fucking pin cushion, dude. Or whatever you call that. Here we go. I guess we can fast travel out of here too. I'll, I'll just go kill the boss. I might as well. I like the purple drills they have. Yeah, we, we've gotten so many smithing stones in here though. Like we don't even need the bell bearing. Fast traveling in case should have been vanilla. Yeah, maybe, I guess. I, I don't... Yeah, I guess there's... It, it definitely could have been. Hello, Crystallian? Maybe, maybe... Wow, it knocks him down still. Ever. What do we get from the boss then? Underworld Dagger. Okay, so we got the bell bearing. Um is the other is the other one still in this chest? Yeah, maybe fast traveling in caves is like a little bit too much freedom. I, I don't know. Like I don't really mind either way, I guess. Yeah, it's probably faster for me to just go into caves actually, instead of Oh wait, we ever oh, we already have a bunch of these, man. Maybe we actually can get it pretty highly upgraded. Well, I took you, my man, to lay out your arm. Nice, plus nine. I guess there's probably a better seal later, right? Probably a somber one, though. Uh, I would recommend this, yeah. If you're, like, trying to play Elden Ring again and you want a different experience, then yeah, 100%. Uh, Belgian, thanks for the 19-month prompt sub, by the way, dude. I, I think I'm pretty happy with our tier at this point. Not sure if I need any of these. Maybe I can... I don't know. I think we're good for now. Spells are good. So, in Lake of Rot... So we have a good build now, basically. Um, I, I'm going to upgrade... I guess I'll, our damage. Probably good for now. Oh yeah, I also I also wanted to go get more of their, like talisman stuff. So... Yeah, I guess that's true as well. Yeah, there's the armor. Um, Shaded Castle, Enya, and Halig Tree. Like that, that, that's the tier 2 armor, right?
Go here. Uh, how's it going, Minstrel? Yeah, maybe maybe I should go to Castle Morn sooner than later. Is um is Leonine uh is he a boss that can be fought as one of the main ones or no? Uh, this class is the Rot uh Rot Servant of Rot. I feel like I might as well just kill the boss. Let's blast him. Lean those gauntlets. And there's no... Did you guys take out all the stone sword keys? I, I I didn't even realize that. I don't have any. Enchanted remnant. So let's go down back to Lake of Ra. Oh oh right. I was <laughs> I was I was wondering. It's like I didn't kill the boss yet. A remnant, let's... Okay, so what are our, the options here? I guess... This is not a super obvious pick here, actually. This one wouldn't be bad. Go with that one. Okay, so our our rune, I assume I assume just Stell drops it. Oh, now we're dealing some damage, dude. There we go. smokes there wasn't a jump attack talisman that I missed was there I don't think I saw that This build is, uh... Oh, from a combat. Okay. I just want to see if this guy drops anything. I think he normally drops a golden seed, right? Holy, he's tanky as hell. Oh, I forgot how fast that was.
Golden seed. That's probably not worth it, but I don't mind fighting those things. I assume the, um, one of the daggers for this class, which I'm not going to use, but I assume it's still up here or whatever. This does make quick work of these guys, but they deal a lot of damage. I didn't realize these... Does scavengers normally have um that extra crit rate? Uh, rod is yeah no rot's a thing. I have I have the horn charm on, which in the mod makes it so that rot doesn't affect me at all. Like I'm immune to it. Oh, there's the rune. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, we got it. Hey, good thing I checked that, actually. Because I was I was not going to check that. Uh, this will probably be a video, yeah. The other, the other playthroughs made good videos, so. So far, so good on this one, man. I'm liking this build. Yeah, I guess I, I missed the scorpion stinger somewhere. Unless it's from the boss. I I I don't need the scorpion stinger anyway, so. So what am I doing here? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's check uh, check the rune. So this is actually the adept one. So like we kind of skipped one, but I'll go back for it later. Okay, pest darts, rotten burst, and blighted contagion. Hopefully, I have enough stats for these. I don't. Yeah, we're we're actually <laughs> we're very far away from being able to use these. Oh, because we came here early. I should have gone to the maybe, other place first. Maybe I'll give you the best um, not ever. This mod is sick. Uh, Galaxy Mix Max. Thanks for the three month, uh, three month prompt sub, dude. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best not ever. Boring NPC. Thanks for the six month uh, prime sum as well. Oh, a lot of HP. Flash of War does nice poise damage, so. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I'll give you the best. Take a seat, ever. dude. I have this one too. Thanks for the last 19 machine of love. Uh, Fox, thanks for the 19-month resub, dude. Let's see if we can get that poison going. Not yet.
I had no stamina, I guess. Oh, that would have been so sick. Oh. Killed during the grab. Second keystone. So we kind of skipped. <laughs> we kind of skipped some stuff, but this build is, is very good, dude. Glowing Relic Remnant. There we go. So second second guy down, I guess. Put poison armament. Can I really buff this thing? So I can try. Well, I'm sure. I, do I have a grease? Oh, I can. Oh, so I could put frost on it. Ah, so that's how we can get the the five status build. Poison, Rot, Death Blight. I guess I didn't use Death Blight here. That would have been a good idea. Gotta get a Frost Greases going or something. So, we let's go to Gelmir. I should get my other spells. I guess this probably wasn't the best way to get here, actually. Or... What is the best way to get here? I don't think I can... I wonder if patches... We need patches to kick us down. That's actually the best way. Really, patches is here. <laughs> Surely I can jump to that. Man. What is the best way for me to get down? I guess uh, we just go back around this way. Probably. Just go the opposite direction. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Hey, Gino. By which build you're going right now? Uh, compare soda. Thanks for the six month resub, dude. We are going with the um, servant of rot class, and we have a poison plus rot plus bleed plus death blight build at the moment, and it's very strong. Yeah, and I want to add frost on top of it as well. Dude, fuck it. I'm just going to kill this guy. This guy stands no chance at all. But yeah, there's a few more improvements that I can be making here. Better talisman set up for damage. Um... Yeah, like I was saying, I would like to add frost on top as well. I went to the wrong side. Oh my god, dude. Well. See ya. Oh, th this build with Moth Flight is like, it's the cherry on top of the build, I would say. Oh nice, we got a combat, combat remnant for that. That was worth it. It's the cherry on top because you just get the sick finisher and it's it actually speeds up the kill like well I don't know I don't know if it actually speeds up the kill that much because if I just do another jump attack these bosses are dead but it certainly looks cooler
so... I have to imagine we want to go with the... Um... The jump attack. But Warrior Jar wouldn't be bad either, because this Ash of War is very good. What do I go with, man? That's tough. Even Blue Dancer probably makes sense. Ritual Sword. I just don't know how much I'm going to be at full health, though. That's why I'm a bit more hesitant, hesitant on that one. But we do have the regen spell. We can go with the swaddling cloth at some point, too. What do you guys think? I'll go well. Why not? And then for now, I'll probably go with this one. All right, the build's coming along. I'm not even sure what else we really need at this point. Wait, I, I can't remember. There, there's a better version of this, right? Or am I misremembering? I can't remember if there's like a 15% Talisman. I'm going to go get this to Golden Seed, too. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be opening the Minecraft server, like, I think today. But, like, in order to play on it, all you got to do is just redeem the channel point reward. That's it. And then put in your username. Okay, 10% is best. Okay, I couldn't remember. Or, or you can stack them up, though. Maybe that's what I'm remembering, right? What, what is this doing here? I was playing DS3 yesterday, and now I just keep jumping when I try to light graces. I don't remember that drop being there somehow. I assume... Oh, it's poison and rot. Nice. Perfect. This is the right one, right? This is Seathwater Cave? Seathwater Cave. Is that where I am? Okay. So somewhere in here is the rune. Probably the boss, but I don't know. I thought it would be a stealth for the other one. It wasn't. What's up, uh, Stitch Boy? Basically, I it almost takes no FP for me to use that. Oh my god. What is even over here? Does this bring you back up or something? What? Insane lump of flesh. The cum buff is what that is. Oh my god, that AoE is... <laughs> the, the sweep or the range on it is insane, man. Oh, oh my god, the tracking makes it look so... <laughs> it makes it look so cool, too. I just... I simply dash past the projectile. 180. 
and then blast him. Okay, I guess I'll go this way first. I feel like it's dropped by the boss, but... Could have gotten a lantern or something. Wait, there's no way there's... Oh, here it is. Normally you get the armor set up here, right? Or... Except the helmet, obviously. Oops, I should have locked onto somebody. I'm not sure if we've seen a bleed proc yet. Mushroom set. I'm going to be curious to see where this class ranks. I'm going the wrong way. Where this ranks uh, compared to the other two that I've used so far. I, I, I can't remember even what the better one was. The Star Caller or the Dragonkin or Dragon Acolyte or something. I, what I do remember is the Dragon Acolyte had that nuke spell. So that maybe puts it over slightly. The Star Caller one. They're, I mean, they're both... Uh, insanely strong though. I remember the the star caller was more about like manipulating stuff rather than dealing a shit ton of damage. Like you'd be able to force enemies away from you and all that stuff. And slow them down and teleport and all that. That's awkward. Definitely isn't great for free aiming that spell. All right, let's see what happens here. Hopefully this is actually where we get the rune. It makes sense. Oh, it's a singular kindred of wrath. Simply get stun locked. <laughs> Just totally bully, dude. Glowing rune of rot and a portal. Oh, shit, dude. Okay. I guess, dude, I guess that's what I should have done, probably. Go to Gelmir, take the portal, Lake of Rot. I, I don't, I guess I got down here through Noxtella instead. Well. I guess it makes sense. All right, let's check out this rune. Hopefully you have enough stats for this stuff. Poison Dart, Pest Tenacity. Carrion Swarm. Convert Corruption. Let's see what all that stuff does. I was honest I was honestly thinking that I wouldn't be leveling up that much faith in arcane on this, but I am. Obviously. Because I want to use these spells. Okay, so what did we get? Convert corruption. Fires a projectile towards an enemy. If the enemy is affected with a non-death light status effect, the effect is cancelled. Oh, that's cool, dude. And you're healed by 100% of the total HP, 100% of total FP. That's awesome. I remember, I, I seem to remember the dragon guy having a similar ability to that, like a, a full heal, but it took all your FP and stuff. 
That's that's actually that's pretty sick, man. So if we have poison or rot proc, we cast this, we get a full heal. Um. Okay. Poison dart, fire, swift projectile. I assume that's just exactly what I expect. Pest tenacity, offensive enchantment increases non-spell physical damage by ten percent. Reduces stamina cost of attacks by twenty five percent. Dude, that's really good too. Uh, Karen Swarm. I don't know if it's supposed to be said Carrion or something, but... Releases a large swarm of blood flies before the caster to assault foes. Vile Swarm deals damage and builds up onset of blood loss. Okay, so it's like a, just a bigger version of this, I, I assume. I guess we should try some of them out. And these were, these were like the tier 3 ones that I can't use yet, I think. Man, I kind of like both of these. Also, let me know if there's any... Um, like, maybe I should go check the Remembrance. Because I, I, I remember the Dragon class had the Remembrance being really good. Because I almost popped it earlier. Oh. I guess I can't get in yet. Okay, well, I'll just save that. It's plus 12 equivalent to plus 4. Basically plus 4, yeah. It depends if you're wondering for PvP or not, though. Okay, poison dart. So I guess that's that's like my ranged one. My, my far ranged one, probably. Can I lock onto these guys? Yeah, that's that's the big range one. Oh, look at that range, man. Jesus. Oh, you don't need a remembrance. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, literally, I'm a lobster now. Where did he go? Oh. I might have to go with this just to do some free aiming, man. That's sick. That's awesome. Let me try to snipe this guy. Okay, it can't quite reach that guy. No, I haven't fought the Black Flame boss yet. Okay. Um, and then... Pest tenacity. I guess we can just check it out. Another cum buff. Whoops. We need so we need to hit thirty six in each for these ones. I'm very curious about them. Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I just want to see what the animation is like on this one. This is def definitely like a boss ability. That's a good spell. Like, that's a really good spell. Uh, Yogurt, thanks for the six-month resub, dude. It, 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 I, like, I might actually want to carry that around, but... I don't know how much I'm actually going to get hit to bosses, though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Let's try the swarm. I wonder if it has more range than the other one, maybe. Oh yeah, that's got a lot of range on it. It actually does some damage too, unlike the other one. I wonder if that just has max range, basically.
Almost. Can you learn Canadian with Babel? Surely you can. Okay, um, how do I feel about this? I don't know if I'm going to use Rotten Mist anywhere, unless I want to cheese a boss. Like, we can maybe cheese somebody, but Poison Dart's prob probably better. Okay, uh, so let's teleport to... I guess we'll go to Castle Morn. Which would be... Uh, Weeping Peninsula. I just wanted to destroy this guy. Oops. I think our Tossman setup is good right now. We can always swap to the extra region if I need it. I'm just going the total wrong way, of course. I'd mess it great for just applying rot. Yeah, I guess that's true, but I have the sword, so. I think that rot spell is probably the most useful for just cheesing stuff, assuming it works. I'm gonna hit the sacred tier, I think. Did you finish the mod? Um, There's like a progression. That's it, it's different than the base game. You gotta get, you have more you have more options of how to beat the game in this mod. So you can basically the the bottom line is you need to go get the the keystone, keystone of the forge. There's I think there's three of them, right? And there's a number of bosses who drop the first one. There's a number of bosses who drop the second one, and a number of bosses who drop the third one. And then once you do all, oh there's five. Okay, it's, yeah, five I guess. Um, but yeah, so once you get, I guess, all five of them, then you can open up the fire giant forge, and then you can progress the rest of the game through there. Really, there's, I can't remember there being five. Oh, well, some of them are required, I guess, right? Like, Morgoth's, you have to kill. Does fire giant have one? Like, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Oh. Holy shit, dude. The f the ingredient merchant. Okay, more got Malka. So so yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. There's Whoa. Oh shit, dude. Okay. Yeah, there's three optional. Three optional or three ones where you have a choice on which one you're going to get and then Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, and I guess two not optional. Here we go. This is looking pretty cool. Dang, this is looking more like Stormvale, kind of. Than Castle Morn. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of fucking damage. I guess this is not an early game area. It's Madness Town. You know be sick? If this Ash of Ore had a way to like... Or, or maybe if you killed somebody with the initial hit, 
which I guess probably wouldn't happen that often. If you could immediately, like, chain it or something, and then dash again. The reason I'm using this so much is because it just has such a big range that, like, it's so good for hitting multiple mobs. Yeah, this is this is sick, dude. I, the the madness theme in here. I guess I did. I even try to open this door yet. This is, uh, this is Castle Morn. <laughs> yeah, this is Castle Morn. Kind of awkward doing a jump attack build with this, because I've, I've never actually really done that. You sort of have to delay your L1 so that you actually hit the enemy. Oh, is my NPC in here? Is that why people are telling me to come here or no? Or maybe, I don't know. Guess I'll find out. I realized I kind of went halfway the other direction and then stopped. Oh, dude, this look this looks so sick, man. Like, I, and we haven't even gotten inside yet. I can't, I, I just can't not just spam this Ash of War constantly. It's too good to not just spam it with these trash mobs. Mausoleum? Yeah, the Mausoleum, they, they duplicate weapons, right? Or do they duplicate more than just that? Dude, this is, this is so sick. <laughs> like the view here, look at this view, man. It almost feels like Stormvale a little, a little bit, like in, in that you're you're going through the lower sections and then you can see the huge big castle on top that you eventually go to. I think I should have went the other way. Did he just survive that? Sorta. But I think I proc'd Rot instantly, so... Oh, just dashed straight through it. I kind of have a feeling that either way would have, like, either way is progression through the area and it, like, circles around or something. I don't know. You hear the flutes going. Oh shit, dude.
Yeah, maybe there's a lever up here or something. But there's another corridor through there. Man, this is so much better than, than what we got in the game. Actually, it's, it's maybe, such a shame. Maybe but I'll give you the best nut ever. At least it's here now. Oh, ladder just for view. Okay, I'll go check it out anyways. Uh, dank. Thanks for the gifted sub to Tiger, dude. Are you German by chance? Or is that just? Dank. There's something up here. Can I speak German? Uh, not really, but <laughs> we did just do a German lesson in Babel, so... Look at it, dude. Oh, it's, it's actually such a shame that this isn't in the base game. It's actually a huge shame. And ma like, maybe it didn't, e it, it didn't even have to be like this. It could have just been like the castle up there just being a bit more interesting somehow. But obviously this is like... This is taking it to another level. Okay, let's go under the golden building. I assume this is... Like, I assume there's a lever or, or something to open that gate at the front. It's actually impossible to just not use this actual work because... Um... We get hyper armor. We pers like we chase down enemies, and they don't even have a chance to attack because we're too far. We get the taker's cameo heal plus the FP back when we kill somebody. Maybe, maybe. So, I'll it's it's not as good for bosses, but ever. like it's still insane for them. But it, it's more just for these tiny enemies where they just can't even do anything. Got a huge, like a huge sweep on it. Long stream of cows. Thanks for the brand new prime stuff, dude. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Castle Morn, Ricks. Yeah, obviously Babel, 60% off. Lifetime subscription with my link. If you want to learn some languages. Yeah, this is this is literally Castle Morn here, dude. We are a little over leveled for this area, I I think. So you know we've got Like I I've already killed the second the second uh keystone boss. And the first one is apparently oh, that looks a little different. Well, there's a gate on it. Not sure. I guess normally I don't know what this angle even looks like, so. Whoa, I took a lot of damage right there. Really won't shoot through the building. Why are you running?
Wait, is there actually something up here? Oh, shit, there actually is, dude. Dang, they've even got the, the secret little, like, nooks and stuff in here. Wait, is this how you're meant to progress or no? Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Oh, we are behind the wall now, though. Can I open this? Ah, look at the shortcut, dude. <laughs> nice. I gotta go the other way. I gotta see what's there. Wow, dude. Because I kind of progressed this way a, a tiny bit, but... Maybe there's not as much on this side. That would make sense. There's like the frenzy town over here. We came up here. I forgot about this sprinting L1 as well. It's actually insanely strong. No, you don't. Or, yes, he does. I just, it just, like, bodies everybody. This build is pretty good, dude, I would say. Pretty solid. Playing DS3 Convergence now. Yeah, DS3 Convergence was also really good. I'm trying to think, though. Did DS3 Convergence, like... I don't know if it added anything like this. Like, this complicated. I'm trying to think. I guess, to be fair, DS3 doesn't really need that as much, though. Like, this is legitimately an entire area. Like, a whole town with all these structures added in and all that stuff. Like, I remember Irithyll maybe is the closest thing to it, which was solid. But it wasn't as expansive as this, I don't think. Oh, we got a beach area out here. Well, the match to DS3 was really hard. I guess... Like, what makes it, what makes it harder than in this game? Yeah, I should go back and play DS3 Convergence again, though. At some point. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at the little 180 before... Oh! A seat. Oh my god, just the carnage. Well, 
Well, that takes care of that. Oh, and they got like a little uh, fishing hut out here too. What am I doing? Trilogy Ascended mod all bosses. Is there a Dark Souls 2 Ascended mod? That sounds brutal, man. Probably get like one iframe or something. What is that? This game is built out of assets and not map pieces. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It definitely makes sense. Okay, we got a whole nother section up here, dude. This looks like if... If that like some... I guess it's going to lead to the elevator room, maybe. Or... I don't know. Look at the docks out here. Guessing I can stand on the boats. <laughs> DLC entrance. Okay. So uh, let's, I, I mean, oh, dude. Oh my god, I'm getting killed. Maybe this is where Poison Dark comes in. No. I guess I might have to try to free him it. Hey, he might be too low, though. Maybe I can lob a blighted orb in there. I don't know if it goes far enough. Oops. Wait, how do you change spell on keyboard in this game? I needed a, like a madness version of this. No. Oh God, how many are there? Oh, that's not even how you do it. Oh. Oh, I... <laughs> what is this? Bro. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. How did I not die? I got saved by regen. Go into the eye. Dude, this is actually <laughs> Yeah, this is sick Okay, let's not get roll caught this time <laughs> Oh my god, dude Oh my god. Holy.
This is this is insane. I don't know if I still get madness proc. I, I guess I probably do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. That entrance is pretty sick. I'm going to come in the eye. It's got a lot of true combos. Like, I can't roll out of some of these. should have known. Man, that's pretty quick. They might have un outdone themselves on this one. I oh, Jesus. I thought he was gonna. Oh, yeah, just escape. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Uh, fuck. Okay, I kind of missed the OST. Dang, dude. <laughs> that's that's maybe the that's probably the coolest boss I've seen in well It's probably the coolest boss I've seen in a mod at least 100%. That, that's insane. Yeah, that's that is definitely not what I expected over here. <laughs> I was thinking it was just gonna be another way around, dude. I guess everybody respawned here. Okay, let's just go back. Uh, Zed Split, thanks for the brand new prime stuff, dude. Yeah, that was pretty sick. That was pretty fucking sick, dude. Dang. Well, good thing I good thing I went over there. Maybe maybe That's where I went, right? I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh calisthenics fan, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. I turn off this music. Oh, that's not the right one. The gods demand repentance. Cut Anonymous as well. Thanks for the uh, six point nine dollars, dude. It. A shortcut door here. Where's our next stop on the on the route here? Uh, I guess Halig Tree. Okay, then. Omen Killer Sandro. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Sandro.
Unfortunately, he's getting back to that loop, though. Oh. You know, I somehow don't remember the positioning to stand in for the backstab loop. Oh, it's a placeholder boss. Definitely makes a lot of sense to have a boss in here, though, I would say. It's a good choice. God, that, that fucking madness boss was so, <laughs> was so sick, dude. Gotta fight him again. I feel like that'd be hard to no-hit that because of the projectiles and stuff, but maybe it's not too bad. Okay, we got a big wall. Shortcut. Oops. Very anime when you rush past the enemy and then like 180 around to come smack them. Very curious about that sh that door. Yeah, no. If you if you just, I don't even know. If it would be very hard to accidentally play online with this mod. Because, like, it doesn't even allow you to, so. It's not like DS3 where it would be very easy to accidentally do something like that. And then, like, actually get banned. But also, getting banned doesn't even matter. Like, basically does nothing. It just means you can't, like, play on the... Uh, online servers, but if you just play PvE anyway, it's not like they prevent you from playing the game or something. Are they out of walls here so you can't jump down, I guess? God, this, this area in the base game is so bad. Like, especially, I, I think the thing that makes it just horrible is this grace location in the base game. How most people, they drop down here, they grab the grace, and then they can't get back over the wall. And so, it, it just makes no sense at all. That was the thing that really made me go like, oh man, this area is just terrible. Oh god, there's a, there's a ballista just chilling there. Sorry, little guy. Just the instant rot as well. Surely secret area. A secret item. Not quite. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, shit. Are we going to go all the way around again? <laughs> Whoops. That was not so great. Uh, this weapon is the Blade of Scarlet Bloom. We should probably do some Minecraft pretty soon, you guys. But I, I don't know, man. We, like, <laughs> we definitely have to finish this area at least. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Does this guy do anything different here? Probably not. So we actually are going to go all the way around again. I'm still, I, I still don't understand what that door is. Lever. Wait. I wonder if that was the... That could have been the, the gate in front of the boss. Dude, just look at... <laughs> look at this view up here, man. This is so... Like, this is insane. I guess I'm supposed to go down here, probably. Or... Um... I guess... I guess you can jump up from here? Maybe I, I might have gone the wrong way. Hopefully I didn't, though. But some gate opened. I'm just going to go look at that door and see. But that's still kind of... I, I still don't understand how that would connect, though. Okay, it's not the door. I maybe I maybe shouldn't have dropped so soon. I should have looked around a bit more. Good the map. We are simply in Castle Morn. Oh, door connects to Morn Tunnel. I was wondering that. But but like is it's a warp, I assume, right? Surely it's a warp, not You guys didn't like actually <laughs> make a, a huge tunnel, right? I guess I... Oh. Oh, yeah, there is more stuff over there, I guess. Or maybe not. But we got the lever for something. Oh, no, that that is stuff. Hey. Oh, my God, dude. This is... This is... So it, it actually is probably going to loop all the way around.
an, an Elden Ring ladder, basically. Or <laughs> like a Elden Ring staircase. Am I supposed to get... <laughs> Dude, this is... This is actually insane. Yeah, th this is this is this is wild, dude. <laughs> I, I can't believe this is is a thing. Oh. There's an archer somewhere? <laughs> Why am I hearing an archer? It's a lord vessel. Favorite part of the mod? Easily this whole area. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Hi. Uh, starting class is the Rot Servant. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, this, this Vihander right there. Am I actually making this? Oh, stray shot. Miss me. Oh, you bastard. Oh, this is actually the way to go here. I guess normally the ladder just goes all the way up, or... Oh, interesting. Time for everybody to die. <laughs> just, just fucking like the carnage, dude. Imagine, imagine coming in here with the Plastidusax nuke. This is new over here as well. Wow, it's it, it's actually so, like it's not obvious at all that this is not in the base game. Like it's basically perfectly. Perfectly added into the level. You just, you can't even tell. Is there a way to kill that guy somehow? Not ever. Dude. This is just so much better than the base game here. I like 
Uh, Gabriel, thanks for the two-month Prime sub, and Fuzzy Nuts, thanks for the five-month resub as well, dude. Oh, just, just thinking about this area in the base game, and then thinking about this level design right now, it's... <laughs> It's it's insane. You have more waves coming. What what's going to be like the next one? I would assume Stormvale is probably not going to get touched much, right? But Maybe not Lane Dell either. And then look at the shortcuts, you guys. The Grace is right over there. And we get a shortcut that we just opened there. And now we rotate it all the way around the castle again. Got the shortcut here. And it perfectly... <laughs> like, this is insane. Thanks, Volcano and Lake Vrot. I do not remember Stormvale. Maybe... I wonder if that would have been after I played it last or not. Uh, I'm not quite German yet, but... I know some things. Oh, so, okay, so Stormvale and Academy are new then. Oh, boy, maybe, okay. I guess maybe. I should go check those I'll as well. The best not ever. But there's it's no, the like, I, there's no fine. way it can be as big of an improvement as this area is. There's just no way. Because this area goes from being just garbage to, to this. And, like, Academy is, Academy is maybe not great in the base game, but it's not bad. And then Stormvale is already, like, top tier in the base game. Uh, Ichisama, thanks for the four month prime sub, dude. Have you guys, is there a way? Oh boy. Oh boy. Please stop. I'm getting swarmed. Just kill, kill the heal. I died to a rat. What I always thought would be cool is if there was an entrance from the uh, Academy Crystal Cave. I think that's the one, right? With the, the duo Crystallian is. As a way to skip Red Wolf. I always thought that would be cool. Oh, I opened the... Oh, so this is what the, the lever is for. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, is this real? This is the way I'm supposed to go? Oh my god, dude. The parkour. <laughs> that's that's awesome, man. Oh, and I oh boy. Whoops. I hit a I hit it like a rut in the ground, and I didn't sprint. I, I I like ran from up here. And this level's got everything, dude. It's got parkour, it's got the insane shortcut locations, the enemy placements, like the archer being in the sniper nest and all this stuff. It's got it all, dude.
Okay, brace. how close I can get to him with this. <laughs> that's that's some range, dude. Oh uh, yeah, I get, we we okay, this playthrough is going to be longer than I thought then. If we're going to be going to Academy and Stormvale. What the hell? This is... I'm pretty sure I'm not meant to make that. Oh, I am meant to make that. I've been playing too much Dark Souls 3, dude. It looks way too high somehow. Look we'll at to that. Wait, am I? No way. Am I supposed to par <laughs> parkour to the island? How did you guys make some of this stuff? Like, do they just have the assets of a, a big, ta like, rock spire that's got a cave in it? Or how does that work? Do you edit that or something? I'm not meant to jump up this, am I? Because <laughs> it feels like I can. I I think I see an item up there. Dang, custom assets, dude. Yeah, but I don't know how to get over there. I feel like that was right, though. Was that right? Am I supposed to climb that? Or is there... Maybe I was just supposed to drop from up there, I guess. Uh, no, I can't use horse here. Ah, okay, from the last grace. Okay, so I'm I'm meant to jump this. Oh, okay, it wasn't even. <laughs> I, I, for some reason, it just it looked like it was way too high. But yeah, I've been playing too much DS3, dude. Forget, forget how high you can jump. Uh, where am I from? I am like, where, like, location? 
I'm from uh, Ottawa, Ontario. Dang, I guess I'm going to go to this other area first, I guess, even though I just made a bunch of progress for no reason. <laughs> Uh, Aurora, thanks, dude. Oh, wait, is... Oh, dude, I didn't even see this. Somehow. Holy shit, dude. Even, <laughs> even more stuff here. Okay, now this one I can't jump up. But I think I'm supposed to... This guy's coming into play again. I don't think this is right. I guess, I, I guess this ladder is kind of bait, isn't it? Or... I think I'm supposed to just drop on the ledge, maybe? Please don't. No way, right? Oh, oh my god. Could have timed it better. He's kind of got Pepega aim a little bit. Oh, I guess that's what that's for, because you're meant to drop on here, and then you're meant to get smacked by him into the other section, and then that's like your way of climbing back out. Oh, and I, oh I'm supposed to go up here. Oh, I thought I was going to... Oh, the ladder's not for that? Oh. Wait, am I stupid? Was there a better way to go here? Oh, are you just meant to jump? Oh. Oh, just kidding. Oh, it's for a different way to the grace? Really? Okay, well, let me go back this way, I guess, and, and check it out. So, I guess there was a spot where I could have dropped down earlier. Right? Is that is that what it is? And then you could just drop down and take, like, a little shortcut to the, the grace here? Surely Hunter's going to be able to fit this all in one video, dude. All right, here we go. Parkour time with, a, with an archer shooting me. Oh. He de -aggroed. Yeah, that one's actually a far jump. I think I can quote out quickly. We're going in the dark now, dude. God, this is a far jump. Jesus, man. Oops.
Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. That's actually, that's almost like a max jump right there. Seaworn Key. Huh. Seaworn key, huh? I guess let me, uh, opens a locked chest on the Morn Castle Cliffs. I, I honestly have no idea where that is. Have I seen an elevator so far? Imagine dying. Okay, let me go back to the grace. Or is it, is it further down? Wait. Go up rock. I, <laughs> I honestly have no idea where that is. <laughs> oh, is it this? Oh, oh, dude. Oh, oh. They said it was an elevator. Harwin's Epi. Epe, or however you say that. Dang, like the hardest weapon to get in Elden Ring right here, dude. Actual hardest weapon in the game, <laughs> I guess. No, I'm not going to test it so that you guys have to uh, get the mod and then you got to do all that parkour and and then you got to get it yourself. So I will not help you. And, and the only reason I'm doing that is because now you asked me to. So I would have I would have tested it out if you didn't ask. But now I now I won't. So now you have to get the mod and you got to do that parkour yourself. Unfortunately. That actually, that is some hard parkour, dude. Like, that's, <laughs> that's pretty tough. I'm sure there's a good handful of people who have tried to get that and have miserably failed. Because they, like, can't quit out fast or they just don't want to and, <laughs> and they gotta run back every time. So that is why I'm making you guys do it. Oh.
Um, very high, I guess, Tiger. Not sure what number, but... Yeah, I should have slid down it. That's actually a good point. Yeah, what I'm trying to think of is if I if I like it better than the base game Stormvale, which like I I probably do, man. It's definitely way more of a of a full level than Stormvale is. Like just it's a much longer level in terms of like actually progressing through it. I don't know, man. No. Like, and I would give Stormvale an S tier, so, so I don't know. And these guys are really weak to rock. They're kind of different, though, a, a little bit. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure which one I like more. Octopus head. Oh, shit. That's actually... That's kind of insane. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I probably like this area more. Uh, like, I think the town puts it over the top, probably. But it's close. It's it's close. Um, I missed the lever. How did I miss a lever? Oh, true. Yeah, I forgot I never went up there. I still think in the base game, I, I like walked across and checked it, but... going to add you thing oh it's very good oh my there i am <laughs> oh it's me oh well time to blast myself actual <laughs> just stun lock Oh, I did myself dirty, dude. That's the real Gino right there. Hammer of Virtue. Yeah, rip the no hit run. No hit run's done. I need to go get some water, you guys. Probably go eat, too. Before we swap orders to Minecraft, I guess. But, man, I, I don't... I want to go see Stormvale and stuff now. Yeah, this is pretty wild, because in DS3 Convergence, even, like... Oh, you, you can slide down that. In DS3 Convergence, like... The area where I feel like they add the most stuff was in... Irithal, right? But 
Like it was, it was good, but it wasn't like this. It wasn't perfectly integrated into the world and totally unnoticeable and like all this stuff. Like this is insane, man. Oh, he's using his sword. Oh my god, it actually makes sense. He's still gonna get destroyed by this, but. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. Is he double proc? He's not. Well, goodbye. Oh my god, just get him with the 180 from behind him, dude. That's styled on. Oh, just just rotate get, get rotated, dude. Just simply rotate right around him. And there's a portal here. Would definitely be cool to see Leonine being like upgraded a bit. Especially if if there's like a huge legacy dungeon like this. We are in the sewer. Interesting. Wonder if I should try to climb my way out of here then. Oh boy. My OPness is maybe dissipating a little bit. As a brute. Oh. Uh, Tiger, have a good night, dude. So what should I do then? I, I feel like I should just go forward, probably. But yeah, here's the list of bosses. So for the first Keystone, Godric, Ranala, um, Ancestor Spirit, and I guess also Leonine. Second, Radan, Estelle, Rikard. Those are kind of hitting hard here. Seven point five K HP. Well, have to do Godskin? Where is Godskin? Well, actually, don't even tell me. Let's just, just try to... Well, somebody might say it anyways, but... If nobody tells me, try to s subtly direct me there. Like, not, not right now, but just... Oops. How many runes do I have? 99k. Do 
Yeah, I guess I guess we could go to Stormvale then if if that's what we're gonna do. But this is no, yeah, this is probably a good place to stop though. At the four hour mark. I want to check out the Divine Tower. Okay. I guess that's probably where the Godskin is, but <laughs> I guess I don't know. I, I guess I, I don't really care either way. Like, especially if it's a place that... Oh. Especially if it's a place that I wouldn't be going to really anyways. Okay, so this is definitely different. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, you guys, I don't think we're going to go through Stormvale all today. And I also feel bad that the YouTube viewers can't, aren't seeing this. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick break in a sec. I'm going to go, well, quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go eat dinner. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to go eat dinner, and then we're going to come back and open up the Minecraft server, and then people can play on it and stuff. I guess I'll play on it as well. I'm not sure how much I'll actually stream that, but at least I'll stream the opening of it, and people can start to play on it. Oh, boy. Very subtle fucking ballista aimed at you. But yeah, again, the only reason I'm not I, I didn't stream on YouTube today is because of the sponsor. The sponsor was Twitch only, but then also You know, we're gonna be playing on the Minecraft server, which like, there's not really a good system set up right now for YouTube people to play on it. Because there's not really, like, YouTube channel points in the same way. So, I haven't fully figured out how that's going to work for them. But, but yeah, eventually I'll get it figured out. I, I, I think I'll just use, like, the Streamlabs points, and then we can figure out something like that. It's just it's not as well integrated. Okay, this is... Yeah, again, dude, it's just, like, you, you would never be able to tell that this isn't just in the base game. Oh, you know what? I, I, I wanted to go check Morn Tunnel. But I guess... Or, or just tell me what it does. I guess you just warp to behind it, and then you can go through the door or something. Uh, it's actually... I think it's both. I, I, I haven't tested Bedrock on it, but apparently it works with both. So, still market here. Dude. Oh, what is that? Look at that instant rot, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot how he's different. Anyway, he's just getting destroyed, though. Must truly <laughs> oh my god. This build is uh, decently strong. We got our first bleed that I've noticed in there. I shall remember the 
Yeah, we didn't really see his moveset, but they, they changed the timings on a lot of his attacks and stuff. I, I remember it from last time, unless things are different, but... Oh, we just get this one. Like, we can equip all these at the same time, right? So, we just want to get as much physical. This is worse, but I also don't need to be at full HP for that. So, kind of a trade-off. Yeah, that dude, that, that Morn Castle thing was... That was so sick. <laughs> yeah, I know, Hunter. Yeah, I actually am, dude. Clearly. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was going to be a long playthrough, but I, I, I didn't realize how much stuff was, like, changed. So... So yeah, it's going to be a decently long playthrough, I guess. I'm going to take a quick break, you guys. I'm going to go eat dinner. Um, and then I might play this a little bit more when I get back, but... I wonder if, like, Matt's sleeping right now, dude. He fell asleep because I, I was taking too long to switch to Minecraft. Um... But yeah, I'm going to go uh, eat really quick, you guys. And then open up the Minecraft server, dude. So I'll be back in a bit.